Hello everyone, Walsh21 here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be upgrading uh, this computer here with a one terabyte hard drive, uh, SSD, sorry, that I've got here, MX500 from Crucial. Uh, in this system at the moment is only a 120 gigabyte one. So what I'm going to show you what to do is how to clone the 120 gigabyte SSD onto the one terabyte using Macrum Refret. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to plonk the SSD in here. I won't take that you through that on the um, on the video. And to do that, I'm going to need to use a power supply there. Use one of the power connectors, as well as another one of these cables here, which is a SATA data cable. So I'm going to temporarily use that. Another option, if you want to clone an SSD or hard drive, by the way, is to use something like this which is a two bay uh, hard drive caddy and this has a built in cloning feature but I'm not going to be going through that uh, on this particular video but if you want to see that let me know and I'll look at that in the future but for now let me plonk this into the um, into the computer here and we'll boot up and I'll see you in a second so here we are on the desktop of the, uh, of the computer here uh, as you can see uh, hopefully you can actually see it quite well by the way, I forgot to mention, if you want to see the build on this computer, um, it was built by Brightech09. I'll leave a link to his channel on the description. So what we want to do is we want to go in and we want to go to Mac Macrium Reflect Free. So just search for Macrium Reflect Free, Macrium. And then at the top, you'll see the link. And here we are, we've got a couple of different uh, versions here. We've got the uh, Reflect free commercial trial, as well as the eight, uh, workstation at the top there. But if you scroll down, this is the options that we want, the backup home. So we want this uh, back Reflect 8.3. That's the one we actually want to do, but you've got some other options here. If you want to get a um, trial version of the full or get the home, then go there. Uh, so we just need it for personal use and then we're going to hit continue on the side here and then that will download it as you can see nice and quick so we'll open that up minimize that the background so we're going to run the installer on here and just click the downloads because that little um, download we just done was just basically the initial bit uh, so that will download this installer if, you, if it were. So I'll wait for this now to go and we'll have a little pause here. So it will ask you to um, make changes. So obviously it's like administrator permission. So just allow it to make changes. Um, we can change our language to whatever we want. So English, I'm UK, but there's obviously no UK option. English US is fine. Click next. And then we just go through the install. So next on that, read through the license if you want to, and then hit next. It is recommended that you just uh, that you do it, but I will be uninstalling this. Um, so personal use. Uh, this in software is being installed for personal non-commercial use. So you need to click that and then hit uh, next. So you actually got to hit the radio in there. We don't want to register for this time because I'm literally going to use it one time and that is it. Install desktop shortcut. That's fine. And then hit next. So it's basically for me at least. You obviously look at it yourselves when you install it. It was just basically next, 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 next. So once this is installed now, which shouldn't take too long, you can see it on the left hand side of the screen there, just popped up. And now we're gonna hit launch now. Right, so once you've downloaded Mac and Reflect, open it up like so. Now this is the second time I've done this. You will see now in a second, you'll see that uh, my uh, SSD is at the bottom here. I did a mistake and I'm going to show you what our mistake is now. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to select your local disk at the top here. So you make sure that's uh, ticked and you want to hit clone this disk at the bottom here. So we hit clone this disk and then it'll ask you to select your destination drive. 
click your new one. So in my case, it is the MX500, one terabyte. Now, in this case, I just basically click next. That's where you want to um, fix. So you want to, uh, for me now, I'm going to hit erase this disk. So if you've got any data on it, hit erase this disk. And then one by one, you want to drag them down here. So you want them all in here. All the way down like so. Now you want to select this. You see now that there's going to be an allocated space here. So we want to expand this space uh, on the side here. All right, so to find out what you need, drag down the final one, because it's this one we want to expand, and then drag this bottom one down. And then what you want to do then, very briefly, right click here, partition size, and you just drag this all the way to the top. Keep note these numbers. So in my case, size is 930 and 256. So that's what we want. And then we just hit cancel there. And then we're gonna undo twice. So we're gonna remove the number four and number five. So undo, undo. Now we're gonna drag number four back down. We'll right click and hit partition size again. And now this is the way we put those numbers in. So we want 930 there and 256 for me, so 256. And then if we click back on the 930, you'll see now that the after size will be 458. That's basically enough size for the final partition. So we hit OK. There we are. So we got, um, uh, sorry, uh, 648, I meant to say. We drag the final one down, and there we go. This was a mistake I made. I didn't do this. I just literally cloned straight down. So that will mean that we will have a 930 gigabyte C drive. We will now hit uh, finish on this last one. Um, so yeah, hit finish now. And then it'll pop up this next window now. So we want to run it as a backup and save as a backup destination file. I've, like I said, I've already done this one. So it'll come up, say, my clone, in my case, my clone one. Hit OK. And it'll give you a warning saying that this drive will be uh, erased, which is fine. That's what we want. So we hit continue. We hit all targets and then continue. And then we leave it going now. Last time I done this, it took me 17 minutes. It, I've seen it done as little as one minute for some people. So it can vary for you. So go make yourself a cup of coffee like I am going to now. I'll speed this process up now for you. And there we go. So everything's just uh, completed. Uh, we can see the D drive has come up with a clone of everything. And this time it took 12 minutes and 20 seconds. I'm assuming because it's made um, the unallocated space. So we'll just hit OK. Close this slot down. And to test it, I am going to uh, shut down the computer, reboot it back into... Um, in fact, I'm just going to hit reboot, uh, restart. I'm going to go into the boot menu for the BIOS. So in my case, it is F11. We will switch it over to uh, the crucial drive, so the one terabyte drive, just to see, uh, make sure it's all correct and everything. Once it is all correct, I can uninstall the uh, SanDisk 120 gigabyte one. So there we go. So we've got the SanDisk at top, and we want to boot to SATA 2. Uh, which is the, um, as you can see, the MX500. We're going to boot into this and we will find out now how well it is. So instantly booted into it. Like I said, this is my wife's computer. So um, we will go into the File Explorer. And there we go. 930 gigabyte there and we have the 120 gigabyte over there so it's worked perfectly fine uh so yeah if this help video is helpful to you give me a thumbs up leave a comment down below thank you once again to my patreon subscribers their names will be up the top right hand side of your screen right now if you want to join them and become a patron supporter link is in the description down below or you can buy me a one-off beer at paypal uh, we also have a Discord server if you want to join that. Link is also in the description down below. 
and any video suggestions that you want me to cover, leave in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching and ciao for now everyone.